me and Ob and I were walking towards my house since he insisted in making sure I get home safely and that were there were plenty of creeps with whom you could never be careful with. This is my stop. Thanks a lot, Ob and I. Oop! I kissed his cheek. What? It was sweet that he would walk me back. I turned back and went inside my house. Third person POV, aka open eyes. Ding! 36. I started walking back to my house. She kissed my cheek and didn't mind that disturbing scar of mine. I grinned into the scarf she lent me. She's so fantastic and such a wonderful person. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? It's just my heart swells with happiness. I think I might be falling for her. Hey, a girl. Oh, shit. Wrong voice, but who cares? Mitsuri, what are you doing here? How odd. I don't feel butterflies when I look at her. I even feel a bit annoyed. Oh, nothing much. Just walking around. She grinned, but it looked fake. What does she want? Oh, do you... What do you really want, Mitsuri? Oops. You caught me. She acted bashful, but her axe only falls, and she looked at me coldly. I'm going to say this nicely. Stay the hell away from my Yinshan. You keep pasturing her when you're around. She always pays you attention, and I'm ignored. I can fish. I am officially pissed off. Yin, one, isn't hers. And who the hell does she think he is? Oh, she thinks she is telling me what to do. Yin is not mine. Plus, I can do what I want. Do you think she'll stay around if she saw what you really looked like? She screeched. I smirked. Oh, but she already saw. And she told me I look handsome. So sorry, that won't work. What if I told her about your true attitude? She won't believe you. After all, I'm perfect pretty girl in everyone's eyes. She'll find out herself. Ugh, just stay away from her. Plus, she likes me better, and I know her better than you. How are you so sure? Her favorite food is... Favorite food? I know. You aren't special. I said, smug. You. I'll win her over. She'll be mine. I don't think so. I'll be the one to... I'll be the one to make her my girlfriend. I left without another word. Ugh. Now, I'm go. I am in a bad mood because of that girl. Yin. No one can take her from me. I'll make her mine. Either she likes it or not. Third POV, 39, 45, 51, 60. Danger, love meter has risen drastically. Proceed with caution. Love interests may behave in reality. Proceed with caution. Your POV. Well, I got ready for school and went to my aunt's car. I got to school and spawned my friends. Hey guys, Yin! Nezuko and me hugged. You're the best, Nezuko. No, you are the best, Yin. We continued complimenting each other. We let go after a bit. I noticed that Tanjiro seemed to be pouting and Senitsu and Inosuke seemed to be sulking. What's wrong? I just think it isn't fair that Nezuko gets a hug and not us, Tanjiro said. Aw, Tanjiro! I hugged him. There, there. Happy. He had a goofy smile on his face. <laughs> Very. My turn. I let go and hugged Zenitsu. I, I then hu went and hugged Inosuke from behind since he had turned his back to me when I approached him. I giggled as I saw his ears tint red. I heard the bell ring and let go of the grumpy little boy. I need to get my stuff. See you guys later. And I quickly left to get my stuff. Okay, third POV, 
Sorry, I had to make sure that wasn't anything spicy. Because then I to do something. Tanju went to the bathroom and went into a stall. He looked at your hand. Uh, looked at his hand. Oh, sorry. It held a strand of your hair, yours to be exact. He knew it was wrong, but you still wanted to cling to it. It was a piece of you, wasn't it? He smelt your hair when he hugged you. Was it the scent of your shampoo? Roses? He didn't quite know for sure. Back to the issue at hand. He looked at this hair and put it in a small plastic bag he had in his pocket. Ding. 48. Your POV. Surprisingly, I have cooking class again. Wow. Hey, Kojiro. Yeah, no. Yeah, Kojiro. Yin. He perked up. He's like a happy little puppy. How are you doing? Good. Yep. How are you? He obviously lied. If, if there's anything, I mean anything, I can help you with it or you just want to talk. You can talk to me, all right? Uh, I appreciate it, Yin. Would you be free at lunch? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you at the old tower? Ah, uh, yes. The old tower. That's what the students called the old tower that is pretty much abandoned at the edge of school. Oddly enough, the students seem to avoid that place. Well, the moods, the mods do. The main character doesn't really care about it. Thus, it's a perfect place to meet in private. Uh, yes, thank you, Yin. I looked away. <laughs> I looked away and heard it. Ding. 28. Hello, students. Time to cook. It's now lunchtime, and I was about to go to the old tower when I heard my name being called. Yin, where are you going? The cafeteria is this way, Nezuko asked. Sorry, Nezuko. I can't eat at the cafeteria today. I need to meet up with someone. Suddenly, her eyes darkened and her, smi and her smile fell. Oh, see you later then. She said dryly. I feel bad. Nezuko, hey, I'll meet up with you. Are you up for a hangout, to d hangout day Saturday? She perked up at her enthusiastic return. Oh, see you later. She skipped away happily. Well, that was strange. I scuffed it off and headed to my direction. Nezuko's POV. How annoying. Yin's time keeps being used up by the other assholes and bitches. I mean, I don't mind Oni-chan and Zenitsu and Inosuke around her, but the rest are just too much. I just want Yin to be for me and be Yin's only best friend. Wouldn't it be easier that way? We can always hang out and spend time with each other. Maybe I should talk to Oni-chan about the annoying pest. I noticed that he loves her a lot. Of course I don't mind. As long as he doesn't take up my time with Yin, he can love and even date her. Third POV. Nezuko Kamado. Status? Unknown. Friendship percentage? 67.